Joey Lucchese will come up from the minor leagues to take the start and the two prior times he's come up from the minor leagues he's pitched gems. He's pitched great. He hasn't pitched good in the minor leagues and he's come up and pitched great up here. His last start was August 18th in St. Louis. He pitched a, a, a was the winning pitcher pitched a good ball game there one seven to one. He's got the churve. He's ready to roll. You can tell Marte in the batter's box. Grounded softly a shortstop in comes Lindor to field. Marte has not been running well this entire series. It, it feels as though there's something wrong with him in terms of his ability to motor right now. Jordan Lawler batting second. On the ground, another chance for Lindor to handle. And he pulls out Lawler. Two batters, two grounders to short, two outs. Brings up Tommy Pham. That one gets by Alonzo, and Tommy Pham shoots it into right field. He's aboard again. That's his fifth hit in this series. This is the bat that they need to get going as Christian Walker fam on the move. That's a strike and Tommy is in there. Stolen base number 20 for Tommy fam. Here's the payoff pitch to Walker swung on and missed strike three. 92 mile an hour fastball up and in. Lucchese strikes out Walker. Zach Gallen gets the start tonight. The last time we saw Zach Gonzo he pitched the best game of his career. Gallen has been a, a real consistent workhorse in the rotation. For the Arizona Diamondbacks. Nimmo had three extra base hits last night. He scored twice as the leadoff man. Sends that to center. What a catch by Jake McCarthy. Did he hang on? You better believe it. Jake McCarthy, welcome back. 112 off the bat. Jake McCarthy freezes just for a second and then makes an outstanding diving play coming in. As it is Lindor who now comes to the plate. That's it in the air to right field. Fam should have room on the warning track right at the fence. They can't catch it. It's off the wall. Lindor will jog into second base with a double. That ball barely missed being a home run off the bat. It looked like Fam would have plenty of room. So Lindor with his 61st extra base hit. That's top 10 in the league. Two balls hit well to start the game against Gallon. Here's Alonzo. With 105 RBI second to Olsen. Lindor dancing. He's running. And it's light in the left field. And that's going to fall in for a base hit. And Lindor walks on in with the first run of the game. Lindor in motion. Alonzo able to hook that ball in the left. Drives in his 106th run of the year. And it's 1-0 New York. So two out. Here's Jeff McNeil. Jeff took it over last night after three hits in the opening game of the series. This is carved out to left center. McCarthy's got another one. Jake McCarthy. Sensational. Superman effort. He hauls it in. Boy, Jake McCarthy, two outstanding grabs in the outfield. Could have saved a couple of runs easily. And Rafael Ortega leads off. Left-hand batter. He's playing center field. And Zach Allen goes to that changeup. Gets a quick strike out his first one tonight. And that'll be out number two. Nice to see two quick outs here. Not the most crisp we've seen Zach Gallen. So nice to get those two here. Called strike three. Change up at the knees. Two strikeouts in the inning for Gallen, who has set down five in a row. That'll be out number two. Lindor doubled and scored back in the first inning. Here he is. Switch hitter batting left-handed. Is swung on. Also grounded to first. Walker has it again. This time, though, he'll go to the bag himself. And it is another one, two, three inning for Gallen this time in the third. The right-hander has retired eight in a row. Fam has his lead at first. Alonzo holding him on. Yeah, that'll be out number one. There is Guriel. Guriel finds a gap. Fam's on the run. Ortega over to cut it off. Lourdes heading for second. He's got a hustle and he's going to be out. As McNeil chases him down, Fam stays put at third. Lourdes a little too aggressive yeah, that time. Really not a smart play. That ball's right in front of you. Just a very poor choice by Guriel here. He's out by a mile. You got first and third. And the play's in front of you. He put his head down, looked at the bag. You know, it's just a big mistake. Bam is a third with two down. And here's Evan Longoria who fly to the warning track and right his first time up. And it's hit in the air. Shallow right field. On comes Stewart. And that retires the side, so helped out by Ortega's outfield assist. The Diamondbacks do not score. For out to number two. Here's Jeff McNeil, lefty batter. Pitch. Swing a hard hit ground ball. Base hit through the right side between Walker and Marte. Tommy Pham picks it up, sends it back in. So McNeil has hit the ball hard twice. 
and is now one for two. A two out single. So that'll bring up the center fielder Ortega. That's lined down the right field line by Ortega. That's going to go all the way back to the wall. McNeil on his way to third. Pham plays the care. And McNeil being waved around third base. The throw by Marte to the plate. McNeil dives and he's safe. And the third goes Ortega. Two nothing New York. More aggressive base coaching by Joey Cora and a flying leap by the flying squirrel to come home. And the Mets have a two run lead. And maybe this will serve as a, a splash of cold water on the face for the Diamondbacks. Brent Strom said today it's all hands on deck. They're not worried about pitch counts. Pitch totals, he says, are out the window right now. It is a sprint. Every game is a playoff game for the Diamondbacks right now. And that's out number two. And they'll have to work to Alonzo with two runners on. Always a threat to do damage. That's line toward the gap in left center. That's going to go all the way back to the wall. Beatty is in. Lindor is streaking around third. He will score. It's a two-run double for Pete Alonzo. Three RBI night for Alonzo, and the Mets have a 4 0 lead in the fifth. Tuffy, the Diamondbacks, they're not in a good spot right now. And the D backs have something cooking in the sixth. First and second, no outs. Bam has had a big series. This is the time now. You got a strike here. Well, that's it on the ground. Lindor's got a chance for two. The flip to McNeil, and on to first double play. Just what Lucchese needed. An absolute crusher. And it's up to Walker to try and bring this run home. And it's hit in the air to center field. Hit well. Back goes Ortega. He's got room on the warning track. And he makes the catch to end the inning. Nice job by Ortega racing back to catch that fly ball and keep the Diamondbacks off the board. Ball four. Gallon has walked his second banner of the game. It comes leading off the bottom of the sixth. And we'll bring up Mark Vientos. Vientos drives one out to left center field. Back in the gap goes McCarthy near the wall. It's out of here. Mark Vientos with a two run homer. Fifth home run of the season for Vientos. And the Mets have stretched their lead to six to nothing. This is not Zach Gallen's night. Now back to back hits by Nimmo and Lindor to load the bases for Alonzo. And the Mets have a chance to completely blow the doors off this game. And a ground ball back to the mound, but it's off the glove of Saul Frank, and everybody's safe as Beatty comes home to make it 7 to nothing. All the makings of a 1-2-3 double play, except for one small detail. Saul Frank forgot to catch the baseball. He just Buck Showalter coming out to the mound here with the training staff. Brett Beatty's going to come out of the game here. The Mets rookie third baseman Beatty is done for the night it looks like one away for Rivera and that's lined into right field coming on to Stewart and he slides and makes the catch nicely done by DJ Stewart on a sinking liner to right two out nice play so two out and now Jake McCarthy and he hits a weak ground ball to the right side McNeil is there and Joey Lucchese for the second time this year has thrown seven scoreless innings. Makes the catch, tagging at third, coming down the line and going back to third is the lead runner Zavala, and holding at first is Marte. So down seven runs, the Diamondbacks not taking any chances there. One out, Tommy Pham will be the batter. I have one more right here. Out of Ooze gets it started. McNeil, wild throw. Sebi comes in. We have the Diamondbacks on the board. It's now seven to one. And the Diamondbacks are down to their final out, and we are going to have a very tight National League wild card race in the wake of this night. And a fly ball center field. Ortega's right there, and the ball game is over. And it's a rough night in New York. Diamondbacks out hit 11 to six by the Mets. Out pitched by Joey Lucchese. Zach Gallen knocked around. It's a seven-one Met win.